Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to a very popular and interesting topic of creating geographic maps in R. We will create some maps of India, country level, state level, district level, municipal ward level. Highlight certain states. Plot roads network, water channels and major hospitals. Then we would look at creating a choropleth map of India based of the statewide sales of a company. Lastly, we would create some choropleth maps of Bangalore city, and show total population, male population and female population. If this is of interest to you, then keep watching. To plot our maps, first we would need some shape files to plot the boundaries of various maps. This website is one of the best websites to get the shape files which are needed to plot the map boundaries. Select the country as India, subject is administrative areas, and click on OK. Administrative shape files will have the country boundary, state boundaries, district boundaries, and the municipal ward level boundaries. There are some other features also, like the inland water, roads, railroads files, etc. Download the water and roads files. Once you learn the technique, you would be able to plot any other features also. Once you have downloaded the files, unzip them in a folder on your computer. Once you unzip the downloaded file, the files will look like these. Mainly, we will work with the SHP files, but don't remove or rename any of the other files as all of these are needed. OK, now that we have got our shape files, we are ready to write an R script. Open up a new R script in R Studio. We will be using these packages. To install packages in R Studio, click on the Packages tab. Enter the name of the package. And click on Install. Now, let's read all the shape files which we downloaded. One of the shape file seems to be using an old name for a state. Let us fix it using the mutate command. Let's plot our first map. We are using the ADM0 data which we read into SHP0 dataset. This file contains the boundary for the complete country. So this will give us an India map without any states in it. Note that the fill option sets the color to fill the chart and the color option sets the color to be used for drawing on the boundary of the map. I am using the labs command to provide a title to our map. Let's run the complete script and see the results. Here is our first chart which creates a map of India. Next we will learn to create a chart with all the states of India. This time we want to plot the states of India. We will use the SHP1 dataset, which is based on the ADM1 shape file. We have used the fill command to fill each state in a different color. Next we will try to plot a map, which will contain the districts. To plot the districts we will use the SHP2 file. Districts are smaller level administrative zones than the states. This time we used a different color palette to fill our districts. Using the options equals magma in the scale fill Verides command. Here is the result of our script. So what next? We will now try to plot the municipal ward level boundaries. Using the SHP3 dataset we can now plot the municipal wards level boundaries. There are multiple wards in a city. So this is one of the smallest level administrative zones in this data. Here is the result of this script. Next we will try to highlight selected states in the map. Remember, the SHP1 dataset contains the state level boundaries. We are going to use it again. We just want to show the union territories in India. Some states are designated as union territories. If the state is a union territory then we will set different fill color for those to highlight them. We will also use an if else command to only print the names of those union territories. You can control the size and the color of the text also. We will still use the SHP1 dataset. This time we want to highlight the states which are facing elections in 2022. We create a vector of those states, I called it D states. Then in our GG plot script we filter the name underscore one data column and fill those states in different color. Similarly the names of the states are also printed based on the filter. Next we are going to see a choropleth map. These maps are getting very popular nowadays. Choropleth maps provide an easy way to visualize how a variable varies across a geographic area in a map. In our example we are going to create a fictitious sales data for a company. We will add an additional column in the SHP1 dataset and store some sales figures for this company. So each state will have a sales value. 
Large numbers in R are displayed in scientific notation, which becomes annoying. We want the numbers to be shown as is. This option can switch off the scientific notation display. Here is the script for creating our choropleth map. We are using the SHP1 file, which has the state's data. This time we are going to fill each state based on the sales volume. Yo will also have a legend on the right hand side, which will display the guide which tells the number and the color gradient. So a choropleth map is a kind of heat map and the high and low values are displayed using different color gradient. Remember that when we went to download the shape files from the website, we had admin boundary files as well as road and waterway shape files. Let's read the road shape files using the read underscore sf command. There is a slight trick here. If I just plot the road shape file using this script, then the results are going to be like this. Notice that we have just been able to plot the actual roads, but the country boundary or the state boundaries are missing. So the chart does not look correct. To fix this issue, we will also have to plot the SHP1 files, which contained the state boundaries. See the blue colored line in the new code. Now, if we draw our map again, we will get the country and the state boundaries as well as the roads network. This chart now looks better. I can use a filter statement to plot only the primary road routes. See the filter command in the script to filter out the primary routes. Here are the results of this script. Now we can use the waterways shape file and plot the waterways in the same way as we plotted the road shape files. Here is the script. And here is the output of this script. Now, we are going to learn a new technique. In this technique, we will get coordinates of some major hospitals in India. We will get this data from this website and read the data into a data frame. Then we will plot those locations on our map. Here is a script for plotting the coordinates of the hospitals. Notice that we are using the geom underscore point command and providing the longitude as the x-axis values and latitude as the y-axis values. We want to color one hospital in different colored dot, and then we also want to print the name of the hospital as well. Here is the output of the script. All the locations have been marked as red colored dots, and the Fortis hospital has been marked in blue color. The text label of that hospital has been printed. Next, we will see how to draw any city instead of the whole of India chart. This GitHub URL hosts the shape files of Bangalore city, and the population for each ward of the city. You can search on similar content for your own city if you want, but the technique of plotting it remains the same. Let's read this data using st underscore read command from the SF package. As this shape file also contained the total population, male and female population for each municipal ward of Bangalore city, so we can plot three different charts to show those population. Notice that in each chart I have used scale fill gradient to create the heat map and provided different low and high colors. Once we plot the charts, you would be able to see the difference. Let's run the three plot scripts and here are the results. The first chart shows the total population, the second and the third charts show the male and female population for each municipal ward in the city. In this video, we have learned to use the shape files and plotted different administrative zones, like states, districts and municipal wards of India other geographical features like roads and water canals. Then we learned to download the location of major hospitals from the web and plotted them on the map. Then we produced the heat maps of Bangalore city and showed the population in each ward. If you found this information useful, then click on the like and subscribe buttons. Happy mapping. See you in our next video.